I set up the background for my scene by going to my render settings in the properties panel to turn on my transparent background then I can go to my camera settings to add a background image. I take this to add a background image. I need a really cool HDRI image for my background. I can choose this. And here we can see the skill and offset properties of the image. Then I can go to my compositing to edit properties. I can use backdrop and have my nodes as shown with the render layer, background image, skill, alpha over, and so on. I can connect my alpha hover to my viewer and composite. Then I can connect the scale to the alpha hover and the other scale to the scale and the background image to the first scale. When I connect my render layer to the second part of the alpha hover node, you can see the result as shown. I think this scene looks cool. However, I need to make some adjustments on the skills to ensure that the skill settings I have in the compositor aligns with what I have in my camera settings for the background image. I need to adjust the offset to be what is in my compositor, but first, let's see what we have when we switch to the camera view. I can use the shortcut number 0 to see the camera view and we can see that the alignment of the camera doesn't match with what we have in the compositor and this could cause discrepancies to emerge in my final rendered image. Therefore, I need to ensure that the properties in the compositor and the camera settings match. I can go back to my compositor to adjust the settings by bringing my 3D viewport down here to observe my edits. Then I want my camera view activated so that I can see the results of my edits. We have the scale render size to be set to stretch so I ensure that the camera is also set to stretch. I also ensure that my opacity is set to 0.5. I think it comes by default as one. The scale for both the X and Y axis can be clamped together under the camera settings as 4. In order to match the properties of the relative scale in the compositor, I can adjust the offset to match the render size scale. As you can see here, it is 0.3. So for the X axis, I can go home to the camera settings to change that to 0.3. And in the Y axis, we have minus 0.1 right here. So I can go back to the camera settings to increase the value of my offset on the Y axis. Then I have something like this right here. I can use F12 button or simply go up here to select render image. 